fresh out of rehearsals, you guys. Well, I heard you both in there. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. It's just been brilliant. The last few weeks have been absolutely amazing. Oh, thank you. For, and of course, the dance off. Wow. First the dance day off. With the yeah. What did that feel like? Mike, yeah, tell me. Well, it was nerve wracking, the dance off. <laughs> I suppose when you're in the bottom two after the judges' scores on the leaderboard, in the back of your mind, you have to half expect yeah. it. Unless the public votes can change it, doesn't always happen. More likely than not, you might end up in a dance dance off if you are in the bottom of the league ball. And so we were sort of prepared, but obviously when it comes and you're announced, you think, oh my goodness, we've got to do it again, this could be it. Yes. But then, actually, the actual run of the dance was probably less nerve-wracking than the first time, because you've done it once already, you know what it's like. And this was the first time, actually, I was saying to Mike, you know, it's sort of improvements that people don't see, mm -hmm. but yeah. you know, every week we've been struggling to keep his focus. This week, every single time we've done it in the rehearsal on Friday, three times on Friday, two times on Saturday, dress run, actual run, he's not done a single mistake. So in terms of the rehearsal, I mean, I heard you earlier on, it was... Oh, no. <laughs> One, two, three, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah. this sounds intense. <laughs> You know, hard, and yeah. you know, how many hours are you actually, you know, rehearsing every week? Literally as much as we possibly can, can squeeze. Yeah. People don't, I don't think realise actually the intensity of how much work you have to put in, and it increases as the weeks go on. And then the pro dancers have to do another routine on top of that, so we lose Monday mornings with Katia because they're doing their, their group dancing. And then it takes two in one of the days. So you, oh. you lose most of Monday, Relentless. so it's less time it's to days. learn more. It's three days. Yeah, well, I have to say, I mean, you look incredible. I mean, even your wife, uh, Emily, yeah, has yeah. comments recently in the press about how fit you look, yeah. how much weight you've lost. Sure, have you done a diet or something? Or no. Or just purely dancing? No, that's the good thing. Dancing Fantastic. is so good for you. Now, I haven't, I haven't changed lifestyle really at all, apart from the fact, obviously, you're working 12 hours a day. Yes. And if you just normally just play football or tennis and go for a run, you don't actually burn off that many calories. No. We are burning off so many it's because of the intensity and the long hours. I've lost over a stone, so it just shows how good dancing is. Also, dancing is really good at exercising all parts of your body. Mm. It's not just the lower half if you're playing football or tennis, your arms, or if you're running, your feet and your legs. It really is a total body workout, plus the mental agility, because yeah, you have to keep up with music. I think it makes you mentally sharper yeah, as well. And fans? Like you say, it's a family thing, isn't it? It's yeah. a family show. People love it. And you've got fans from all ages. Absolutely. Which is brilliant. It brings people together. And that is what we love about Strictly. Yeah. There is a much, a it's job. a really broad fan base. And a lot of men saying they've never watched Strictly before, but they're now watching it because it's the old bloke. You know, I suppose it's the same true. with their boys. <laughs> yeah. You said they stop you on streets. About, and, they're talking about their yeah. posture and how they. Ah. Apparently, there's been an upsurge as well in older men attending. Um, Jive and salsa, Sam salsa, 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 salsa yeah. Well, you did say when you first started, Mike, that you know you wanted to kind of challenge yourself as this dad dancer. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel that you're more of a pro now than less of the dad no, dancer? I think, well, I think <laughs> I've learned various dances. I know a lot more about dancing. Definitely, I'm fitter. I can. I mean, uh, every dance is different. So whereas I still maybe struggled at the samba with a quick step, maybe because I'd lost the weight. It, uh, adapted to it easily. There's a dance out there for everybody, definitely. I think Absolutely. Definitely, oh, definitely improved my posture, my picking things up as well has got easier. Things, I mean, I haven't watched the jive back from the first week, but if I did, I'm sure it would be quite horrific. But even, I don't think not horrific, so. it's still pretty good. Still good, yeah. <laughs> the Cassius <laughs> choreography is second to none because of the ideas, the yeah. creativity. You, you adapt to people's personalities, don't yeah. you? Yeah, that's Brilliant. what I said is it was great because when we got paired up, you were so happy because you wanted to take these risks yeah and be completely thrown into this wild world of strictly you know yeah. with all these sequences of spray yeah. tans and routines <laughs> i mean the costumes are phenomenal aren't they and now that you come up with some really yeah they've had to yeah. remeasure yeah there's a yeah. whole variety isn't it if you think with being the magic mic a cowboy yeah you have nice suits, suits. From quick yeah. Oh, yeah yeah you're gonna be a rabbit this week oh so it's halloween this week that's oh. right Ooh, okay we're excited for that well we wish you both all the luck in the world. Thank I'm rooting you. for you, and oh, so is everybody you. else. So thank you. Oh, thanks, Caroline. Thanks He's very much. He's doing amazing, isn't he? <laughs> you are. Amazing teacher. Well done, team Babushka. <laughs>